Alright, uh, what's good, world? Um, shit, let me take, check this text message real quick. But, uh, this video is called Stalkers. This is uh, a topic that was given to me from I Can't Be Pretty Bitch. I didn't just call her that. That's just the name on her downy link page, you know. But, uh, she has a problem where her stalker is her ex-girlfriend and she's trying to break her and her girl up because I guess she wants her. So, and she hasn't talked to this girl and She ain't talked to this girl in eight months. So, I don't understand. You know, stalkers, they are fucking crazy. You can't, you know, deal with a stalker unless you've been the stalker, you know. But, you know, I ain't no stalker. I don't have to stalk motherfuckers, you know. But uh, with stalkers, it's like a fatal attraction. It's like, it's not really, stalking ain't really, they really want you. It ain't really that they want you back. It's just they don't want to see you with nobody else. You know what I'm saying? So they'll make your life as miserable as they can so you won't be with anybody. You know what I'm saying? Because, like the old saying goes, misery loves company. That means, yeah, she going to call your girl and tell your girl that you, had, you was a prostitute or you had sex for money. You know, it's all in the same area. She gonna tell her all that because she think your girl gonna break up with you and then she got a chance of, you know, getting revenge or whatever so she can sit back and laugh at it and shit. Which sometimes is the case. Sometimes the uh, girlfriends do break up and believe the ex because, you know, the ex been there and done that. So, you know, but in my case, you know, in your case, you know, uh, your girl was good for, you know, not listening and, you know, going on going ahead about it but uh stalkers they can be crazy they be tweaking me like in your bushes with a flashlight at four in the morning you know they, they should be tweaking me like uh i don't know they be tweaking boy stalkers they they have just pop up you could be just driving to work at a red light and they'll pop up down the the back of your car and shit, like, what the fuck, you know, um, but, I think stalkers, you know, I think they have a problem, stalkers should go see a doctor, because stalkers, they're everyday people, they just, one day, was in a relationship, for, I don't know how long, they got a little too attracted to the person. The person ain't want to be with them no more. They went their separate ways, but that person just can't go their separate way. You know, they just want to see the motherfucker or, you know, just be with the motherfucker, but can't be with the motherfucker, you know. And I don't understand because with guys stalking females, that's crazy because anybody stalking anybody, matter of fact, because there's over... 36 billion people in this world so you don't have to stalk you know you don't have to stalk or or be mean or try to get revenge on a motherfucker you know it's not that serious you know and most of the time it's people that got dumped in a relationship you know what I'm saying and they can't they can't take it as in oh I got dumped you know let me move on they take it as, oh, I got dumped, so now I have to do something. You know, that's, they just on some crazy shit, which ain't really all that cool, you know. Because if you think about it, you can go to jail for stalking because that's trespassing. And, you know, you can really get your ass whooped for stalking. Because I would be the motherfucker ass if I found out somebody stalking me or my girl, you know. I put them hammers down, you know what I'm saying? I'm not finna fucking play that shit and neither should you you know uh all I gotta say is there's either three options you can ignore the bitch uh
get a restraining order on the bitch. Or beat the bitch ass. That's all I'm saying, you know. I don't usually word, use the word bitch, really, because, you know, that shit is crazy. But that's some weak shit for a motherfucker to stalk and try to break up a happy home, because that's weak, you know. I got out of a relationship, what, seven months ago, six, seven months ago, and, you know, shit ain't work out. Told her my feelings, you know, but I told her I don't want to break up a happy home. But for a motherfucker that is blankly disrespectful and will try to break up a happy home, that's something else. And, you know, stalkers, they need to cool out because they can seriously get hurt or get some jail time or, you know, just found up dead somewhere, you know. But, uh, to all the motherfucking stalkers, lay low. Just stay at the crib. Stop being in motherfucking bushes. Stop calling motherfucking phones and hanging up. Now, that's something I don't play that shit right there. That phone calling and hanging, hanging up shit, that's weak as hell. That's, that's, uh, middle school. You know, when you used to call the people, uh, block number and hang up. That's, that's worthless. You don't do that shit. I'm only 15, but, you know, I know not to do that shit. You know, that's, that's childish. That's a whole nother level, you know. Uh, you know, stalking outside motherfucking houses, that's childish, that's weird, you know, and there's no need to cry over one female, there's, no, there's, there's a lot of more females in the seat, so, uh, so, uh, you know, move along in life, so, eye candy pretty bitch, you know, tell your stalker to move on in life, tell her to get a life. You know, tell her go find a clue and get a life. Cause uh, stalking ain't it. That style just makes you look ugly. You know, stalkers ain't nothing but haters, which are usually fuck niggas. So uh, you know, and that's lame as hell to make up a lie and say a motherfucker is fucking a fucking boys for fucking males for money. You know, when you used to fuck with the motherfucker. So, shorty. Get a life. Move on. Step set. I'm out.